Let's ask for some help. All right, we find ourselves back in the challenge once more. And in this modding tip, we're going to be discussing how you can ask for help in a way that both is respectable to the people who want to help you. And then also that is going to save you and the person who's going to help you a lot of time. So for this, we're going to go on to my Discord server that I have, and you're going to see the first thing. And that is when you actually join a Discord server, for example, mine or any other Discord server that might be able to offer you help in terms of modding, you're always going to have rules. Please, for the love of God, always read the rules in that server because some servers, when you actually do not follow the rules, you're going to get banned immediately, permanently, and you're going to be out of there forever. So read the rules carefully, follow them to a T. So for example, in my own server, I have something where you can get certain roles. In this Get Your Roles channel, you can actually get a role by reacting with a certain emoji on this particular message. And this will then unlock, as you can see, certain help channels. So you can see the help channels are in this case right here. I'm going to demonstrate this in a channel that is only existing for me because I don't want to bother anyone else. But let's just say you are there and you want help with something. I understand that you might want to be respectful and stuff like that. But writing, hi, I have an issue. That is not good. This is bad. Asking, how are you in the help channel doesn't work. Just post your issue. Also, what doesn't work is, hi, can someone help with an issue I have? No. Why would you ask if someone can help? Just tell us what the issue is, say it, and then we can help you with it. Or we can if someone doesn't know how this works. So this is usually bad. Those two things are not good and you should not do those. Also, when asking questions and not being specific enough. Hey, my mod doesn't work. Doesn't give us any information about... It could be a thousand things that might not work. This is not enough. You can get a little more specific by, for example, saying something like, Hey... My tree generation doesn't work. This is a little bit better, right? However, it still is not quite enough. Like in the last morning tips we've seen, you're usually getting errors or you're getting stack traces. And this is the moment where you supply those. If you have a GitHub repository, this is pretty much the best thing you can do. You can say something like, hey, my tree generation doesn't work. Giving us the stack trace, I highly recommend either using a gist or the paste.ofcode org over here instead of using pastebin because pastebin is not the best with their formatting. A gist and paste of code are probably the preferred ones, I would personally say. So you apply the stack trace and then you also supply the GitHub repository. Also, don't forget when you supply your GitHub repository, please make sure that it is public and not private. Otherwise, we're going to have to say, hey, the GitHub repository is private. Please make it public. So just make sure that all of this is set up correctly and then you're probably going to get an answer very very quickly this is the good way to do it while yes you can supply too much information sometimes usually people won't be annoyed if you supply too much information i would say rather give a little bit too much information than not enough this also includes things like screenshots they can also be very helpful so for example if my textures don't work it can be very useful to actually make a to actually get a screenshot of my entire folder structure here because maybe the folder structure is wrong. This can happen at any time, right? Maybe you're like, I've looked at the, all of the JSON files and all of them are correct. It can still be the case that maybe the JSON files are wrong. So then, for example, if your Circon block doesn't work and I say, hey, can I please see the block states JSON file? What you can do is you can either, if it's a very long one, highly recommend also using paste.ofcode over here. Otherwise, if it's just a few lines, right, like this one, you can copy it, right, select it, press Control C, and then you can use the backticks over here. If you put in multiple ones of those, you can actually even put in JSON over here, and then I can post this, and then everyone can see this, and it actually highlights it perfectly. Because if you just post it, look at how badly you can read this, while this one is actually really nicely formatted. Now, the formatting in Discord is really not the best, but it definitely works better than just pasting it in. So I highly recommend also doing this. Once again, don't spam the chat. If it's too long, then you should probably just use a paste of, and that's going to be fine for most people as well. And last but not least, what about this? Spam. Yes. If someone does not answer your question... It can have a few things. So either people have not seen your question, and that can happen, right? Sometimes the help channels are very full, depending on the server, depending on the time of day. All of that can always happen. You can then respectfully ask it again a couple of hours later, maybe 30 minutes, an hour later, or something like that. If you then still do not get an answer, usually it means that people just don't know how to solve your problem. That can also happen. Or maybe people don't have the time to help you. Know that pretty much everyone on every help channel with modding is a complete volunteer. They're doing it in their free time, so you're not entitled to their help. 
I just want to drive this point home because some people then resort to pinging people and this is probably the worst thing that you can do. Do not ping people. This is not okay. So if someone else wrote a message, I'm just going to do this with account bot, right? And you want to reply to it. You can either hit this reply or you can also right click reply. And what's very important here is that it's going to have this one turned on, right? This one is here on. This means that the original person will be pinged. Usually people in the modding space do not like being pinged. So I highly recommend when you actually respond to someone, turn this off, make this turn off. Or what you can do is you can press shift reply and then it's going to be turned off automatically. You can also do right click shift reply and then it's also going to be turned off automatically. Please make sure that this is the case. People will be very annoyed if you keep pinging them, especially while you're just having a normal conversation in the help channels or everywhere. And those are pretty much all of the steps that you will have to do if you want to get help. It's totally normal if you want to get help. Like I said, be specific, have a GitHub repository available. People will have a way easier time helping you if you just come in and say, hey, my mod doesn't work, my tree generation doesn't work. If you supply all of the data that people are going to need to help you, they're far more likely to properly help you instead of if you just come in with, hey, I have an issue, can someone help me? No, someone can't help you. Just ask us what the issue is and then we might be able to help you. Right, and that would be it for this modding tip right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next video. So, yeah.